On Sunday afternoon, the Knoxville Symphony Orchestra will honor the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. with a free concert at the Bijou Theater. The program is called She Sings for Freedom. It will honor six women whose music and voices were instrumental in the civil rights movement. Those women are Marian Anderson, who performed everything from opera to spirituals, Josephine Baker, a dancer, singer, and actress, Odetta Holmes, a singer and musician often called the voice of the civil rights movement, gospel great Mahalia Jackson, often considered one of the greatest vocalists of all time, Coretta Scott King, Dr. King's widow, who studied to be an opera singer, and Nina Simone, whose work included everything from jazz and blues to classical and folk. It's going to be a terrific program of music. It's going to be featuring some very familiar spirituals and gospel tunes uh, associated with the civil rights movement and a few songs that I think are going to be new and really kind of magical discoveries uh, for the people in attendance. The KSO has some amazing women from our area taking part in that show. They include Phyllis Nichols, Dr. Dasha Lundy, singer Kelly Jolly, and poet Rhea Carmen. We talked to Carmen and Jolly this week about sharing these incredible stories. But I will be singing a song and doing one of my original poems. I like to make a difference. Um, my thrust and everything that I do is about telling the stories of my people and my culture and the things that I've gone through in life. And so I think that the most powerful part of this is that the story behind the women and their work. And once we start to talk about these stories and we start to bring those stories to light, we find a connection to one another that we may not have seen before. Um, so the personalization of our stories is what brings us together as people. On Sunday, I will be celebrating the music of Josephine Baker and Odetta Holmes. So I'll be performing two selections from those women. The music of the civil rights movement is centered in the church and spirituality. And people had to stay focused when they were out uh, protesting, when they were at meetings, when they were listening to speeches. The music helped draw them in to focus them and to inspire them. But I learned that Odetta had a repertoire that was similar to mine. And that one of her songs that she earned um, acclaim for and awards for was Hole in the Bucket. It's actually a song that my parents sang to me. It's actually a song that I that I recorded and I sing it every chance I get. And I, I read that and I thought, wow, I'm more like her than I thought. The KSO's Martin Luther King Jr. Tribute Concert is Sunday at 3 at the Bijou Theater. It is free and open to everyone.